I was trying to have a nice time today when I was scrolling through LinkedIn, just ingesting all the splendid tree and merriment that is LinkedIn, like where you can see my Power Query course and my Excel Weekly Challenge that comes out every Friday. I scrolled across an Excel challenge that Alan from Computer Gaga posted. He said somebody whooped this challenge on him, so he whooped it on us. Here's what it is. Columns A, B, and C are all appetizers. D, E, and F are dinner, and then G, H, and I are dessert. This is how the report comes in, and this is what it's telling us. Connie signed up for popcorn as an appetizer, chicken as dinner, cake for dessert. And what do we want from this data? We're going to go over here to the dishes. Everybody's selections are all lined up. We see Connie, popcorn, chicken, cake. And then over here, account. We need six ice creams to make everybody happy. I started to see a path towards solving this. I figured the first thing I'm going to have to do is transpose, tip this data on one side because it's easier to deal with row headers than column headers in Power Query. I thought there's going to be some uh, unpivot involved. So I had to just dive in. All right, and here's the solution I came up with. Here's the data. Bring it into Power Query. To transpose, we have to demote headers or our column headers will go away on us. Here we go. We have to go to use first rows as headers. Use headers as first row. We've demoted the headers. Next, transform, transpose. Right here is where I'm going to start referencing this query. I'm going to go over here, right click reference this is going to be my dish count okay cursor here right click unpivot other columns don't need this remove it now i'm on a group and count home group by yep group by column one do a count Okay, that's the dish count. Next, right click, reference this query. In this situation, the appetizers are the first three columns, dinner is next three, dessert is the last three. So I am going to pull this data set apart like little kids pulling the legs off of grasshoppers. Now look, don't get funny because little kids pull legs off of grasshoppers. I don't condone it but little kids do it. Here we go. I'm going to call this the appetizers. Keep rows. Keep top rows. Number of rows to keep? Three. Okay. Go back. Reference to query. This is going to be dinner. Keep rows. Keep range of rows. The first row to keep? Row four number of rows to keep three okay and then dessert right click reference query dessert keep rows bottom rows the bottom three okay let's stay in dessert right now I'm gonna add an index column from one okay so now that's index one, two, three. I'm going to slide this over. With that column highlighted, control. Hold this one down. Right click. Unpivot other columns. I don't need attribute. Remove it. Don't need the index anymore. Remove it. Slide this name over here. All right. So now we have all of our people and what they want for dessert. Now I've just got to do the same thing to the other two queries. Appetizers. Add an index column.
That's all done. Now, just put it all back together. Home. Merge queries. Merge queries as new. I want to have appetizer up top and then dinner next. Match up values because those are the names left out of join. Okay. Now I'm going to expand. I don't need that value anymore. Okay. And then merge the dessert. Merge queries. Dessert. Left out a join. Don't need the value. Okay. There we go. And then close and load this to the workbook. Now let's add somebody else. Source data, Erica, then Erica for chicken, then Erica wants pudding. Let's go over here, data, refresh. There's Erica. Yes, there's a lot going on here. I have a lot of queries but you can file this solution under it's ugly but damn it it works because what are the alternatives get a solution that makes the user happy or the user gets frustrated and says to hell with all this I'm serving everybody hot dogs and if they're not happy then they just don't have to eat their hot dogs thanks to Alan from computer gaga I'll see you in the next video.